morning, everyone. I have a dog here that was rescued from the new owner's family member, and it just was really, really rough conditions. They said the dog was without food or water or really any interaction for almost three weeks. And so I'm gonna get this guy cleaned up. They said when they found him, he was in his own feces, in his own urine. And we're gonna do a comfort clip to get this guy back to a, you know, healthy, healthy groom, a healthy coat. And so I'm gonna start with a five and then go from there if we need to, go down if we need to. But our main thing that we're doing today is a comfort groom. We want him to be in better health. We want him to be healthy. We want him to be clean. And so that is our main goal for today. So here's what he looks like. There is some matting on this front area. There's a lot of matting on the belly. They said, you know, back here is in pretty rough conditions. There's feces and matting all back here. So we're gonna get him cleaned up. So I'm only gonna be stripping down the coat right now. I will do the nails and everything after the bath. So this is a five. This is a free groom. They had scheduled and were gonna pay for it and then they canceled it because they found a groomer closer to them that was going to do it on Sunday. And I texted them back and I said, I will do the groom for free if you wanna come in tomorrow because I have an opening. And so they drove a solid hour to get here so I could groom the dog for free today. I just told them, you know, it breaks my heart for him to have to sit there in this situation for, you know, another four or five days. So in here is pretty matted. We're gonna have to go down to a lower blade, but I want to try to keep him some coat, keep him some dignity pretty matted in there too. We'll have to go down to a seven. This guy is quite hefty. And I know some people get offended when I talk about a dog's weight, but that's part of their overall health. No, I'm not a vet, but it is something that we have to deal with as groomers. If a dog is severely overweight, they're actually harder to groom. One of the painters just came in. We are having the outside repainted. Um, the, the brick walls, the outside of the walls are gonna be white. And then the top part is gonna be black to match the gutters. And eventually I would like to have someone on the outside of the building come and do a dog related bright color mural. So there's quite a bit of matting under here and the ears look pretty nasty and dirty. So we're just gonna get this guy cleaned up. Do what we can. Good boy, you're okay. They said they bathed the dog before they came, which we don't recommend because it does make the mats worse. And it also makes for not as good video, but it's okay. I, I understand they wanna bathe the dog because they're embarrassed. There's no need to be embarrassed. That's why we're here. So I am gonna use some medicated shampoo. There's some dead skin cells on top, probably from not being groomed. Just hasn't been able to shed the dead skin cells. Okay, so I'm gonna gently turn him. We're gonna do this side.
don't remember this guy's name. I'm really bad at dog names and I'm trying to get better because I know you like dog names. But I'm sorry, I don't remember this dog's name. I'll have to look it up in the system when I have a break. smells pretty bad. People get so offended when I mention something smelling bad. I'm trying to give you the full experience. I want you to experience what I'm experiencing and I can't do that unless I say, oh, that smells bad or, oh, it's, it's, I'm not degrading the dog or degrading the owner in any way. I'm trying to give you the full experience as if you were actually here with me grooming. You know, I'm not doing it to be rude. I'm not doing it to degrade anyone or the dog. It's just simple facts. Easy. You're okay. I keep wanting to say it's Paco, but I'm not sure that's it. Come here. Come here. Easy. Come back this way. Okay, so now I'm gonna go down to a seven. So this clipper side, it cleans our blades, gets all that hair, disinfects. Nice and clean. Maybe still a little bit of hair on there, but it's disinfected. All right, so this is a seven. Mats. Yeah, okay. And turn him this way. So that's one big mat. Turn him, come this way. All right. 
super thick coat. Okay, so one thing I want to talk about is teeth. This guy obviously has some teeth issues going on. There's all this junk in there. And you can see if we open this up, the teeth are in, in pretty rough shape. So I'll get all that off of his face. I'm gonna take a 30 blade and get these, well, just gonna take this right now. Gotta get all that cleaned up first. Come here, bud. You're yeah, okay. Yeah, stand up. It's been a minute since this dog has been groomed. All right, so I'm gonna get him in the tub. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take ear cleaner. These ears are really bad. This is called flushing. This is just ear cleaner. And you can see all of that nasty, that is just coming out of the ears. All of that gunk. Bunch of debris coming out of those ears. Can you turn back this way? Turn back this way. Turn back this way. There you go. Okay. We'll clean those after the bath. So what I'm gonna use today, you can see all that debris, is some Griminator and some of our Lillian Ruff Blueberry Shampoo. And I'm gonna let him sit for a minute or two so that we know that that's really working. So I'm just gonna get them all wet. And let that shampoo start working. I'm gonna turn him. Turn, turn, turn. Turn, turn, turn. spray everything but I'm gonna go ahead and spray his head too and his mouth so all that just soak and I'm just gonna let that sit for a minute and start working okay so it's been a minute or two just let that sit now I'm gonna go ahead and do some more and I'm gonna come in here and scrub
good. Does it feel good? So I'm going to get our comb, which is usually used for fleas, but today we're going to use it for gunk. It's pretty gross. So I'm going to take some of this facial and we're going to really scrub that. Get in the face and the eyes. Dog's got some grime in there too. Hey, 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 you're okay. Not going in his eye, just right by it. And that junk off. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna switch over to rinse. Just get the majority of the soap off because we still still going to do and tick shampoo and dip. I don't think I'll do a medicated. I think the multiple shampooings will help. Okay. So what's up here? Flea and tick shampoo. This is just a precautionary measure. I didn't see any fleas or ticks on him. So I'm not gonna do a whole scrub down like I usually would. Let that go over the dog a little bit. Oh, just scrub it in. now. Lots of hair coming off. Turn this way. Oh, we gotta turn this way. Okay. 
Thankfully, the dogs I have today are quiet. They're not very loud. Okay. So I'm gonna get him dry and I'll see you back on the grooming table. So I have a five blade and just go get in there and get with it. This dog's coat feels completely different after being cleaned. So in between here is still a little bit damp. Um, I will just finish the haircut and then put him back in the cage dryer to finish drying. He was not the biggest fan of the high velocity dryer. No, no, no. Coat is not super smooth. 
and it's because of the five blade. I'm not very fond of the five blade because um, you can only use it on certain kinds of coats. But I think it will be okay. So I'm gonna switch to a 10. Whoa, whoa, bud, I'm about to fall off. Years. Well, I have this 15 on here. Come here. Turn this way. So I know this seems excessive, but I do do this, but I feel like I have to prove that I do this. What I usually do is I'll just put them back and all the ones in the front that I used, I'll go after I've done this dog, after I've ended the video, then I will go through and clean all the blades. So yes, I'm putting them back in there, but they are disinfected after. So now we're gonna trim the nails and they are very long. Okay, so here is a prime example of why you need to get your dog's nails trimmed on a regular basis. This one has actually grown all the way around. So here's the beginning. So it should be about right in here. And it's grown all the way around. So. That's crazy. Don't see that very often, but. I'm gonna do a 30 blade. I'm just gonna trim up some of that paw pad here. So I can actually see what I'm doing and so that hair doesn't get caught up in the dremel. Oops. OK. 
Okay. Got a brush and scissors. Up, 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 up. to pick up their dog. One thing before I forget to mention is if you have a female dog that is not spayed, is not fixed, please make sure they are not in heat when you take them to the groomer. Good situation to put the groomer in. But why do you keep scooting back? It's matted in there. Okay. Turn. I'm gonna do this side. Same thing on this one. This one's curled around. It's curled around. Okay. So same thing. Stop scooting back. Your pull in. You gotta scoot up. Dog's making me so nervous. It's moving too much. So I want you to tell me some of your favorite shows on Netflix and go. I 
making me nervous. Yeah, that's the edge. That's the edge. There you go. You gotta stand up. Stand up. Oh man. Okay, and turn. Oh man. Doing good though. Doing good. That's all that matters. Doing good. someone here they're here to pick up the dog they wanted to know if we had harnesses and I said no so they're running down the street to get a harness for him so he can ride safely home they traveled from Tecumseh which is about an hour hour and a half away I know some will not believe the story that I told or the story that they gave me. I always give them a benefit of the doubt because we don't know. We don't know their situation. We don't know their home life. We just don't know. So here's what I'm gonna do. Take this five. So choppy, but be okay. Just gonna trim these ears. Turn to 
at this side. Let's see this side. See, this dog is like a pug Shih Tzu cross. Okay, so I'm gonna take my chunkers and try to just make this look a little bit better. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the cotton ball and you're okay, bud. Clean that out. That's just stained down in there. Whoa, making me so nervous. Okay, so I can see a few spots that need to be trimmed. get a bandana. It's a boy, so get this one. That one's probably too big. I get this one. what he looks like now. Looks so much better. The mouth is cleaned up. There's no more mats on his belly. There's no more poop back here. So I know some people are gonna ask, if there's a place where they can donate money um, to go towards these free grooms. And there, I do have a PayPal. I will leave it linked down below. You can gift the money there. It's marybeth.mar <coughs> at yahoo.com. We also have a wish list that is linked down below. And we just appreciate each and every one of you. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.